Friends, in this video for I Thought Wealth, I am talking to you on the topic, are bonus shares really relevant? When I came to the market, if a company announced bonus shares, the stock price would immediately double. The market will reward shareholders of that company immediately for benefits that will come over several years down the road. Bonus share was a mana from heaven. It was God's gift showered on the investors. That's how investors saw it. But it didn't take long to realize that investors were actually being manipulated by the issue of bonus shares. There were times when shares like Castrol would go up very quickly after a bonus was announced. ITC also used to go up on the day of announcement significantly and then rise again for many more days. What effectively this did was misprice the company whenever the bonus shares were issued. After all, what is the bonus share? It is the company shifting a part of its reserves into equity. What does it signal? It signals that the company is ready to pay more dividend in the coming years and service the higher equity at the same rate or very close to it. It shows management competence in the ability to service a bigger equity. Companies take a long time to grow beyond their existing dividends when they give bonus shares. Number of shares increases, which means that people tend to sell their shares. All this has changed in the recent years. Earlier, if there was a bonus issue, nobody would sell shares. Today, once a bonus is announced, many people want to sell shares before the bonus shares are issued because it benefits their taxation for starters. And investors believe that shares may actually come down after a bonus issue. Yet, issuing bonus shares is a demand of the retail shareholder in every company, in every AGM, because shareholders are still rooted in the belief that bonus shares will improve the value of their shares or their investment. On the other hand, if a company continues to do well, it will give more absolute dividend to investors. If the company pays the same rate of dividend on a higher equity base, the total dividend payout increases significantly and investors are able to improve their dividend payout when there is a bonus share. This is the main benefit that I see out of bonus shares now. But the downside is floating stock increases, selling pressure increases, often people sell come bonus and stock prices may come down after the bonus if the bonus decision is not well timed. What do I mean by if it is not well timed? Sometimes companies issue bonus shares and then their business fortunes go down. Sales growth becomes flat, margins become squeezed, they are not even able to service their pre-bonus equity and they need to service a much bigger post-bonus equity. The markets give a thumbs down when this happens. And as luck would have it, many companies face this situation. They mistime their bonus issue to shareholders and then suffer for three to four years. I have experienced this in multiple companies. I wouldn't name any now, but this has happened in the past. Many companies manipulatively issue bonus shares because they think that shareholders will not sell their shares if a bonus is issued. So that the selling pressure is brought down in that company. When the selling pressure comes down, the valuation doesn't get adversely affected. But that won't last long if the company is not able to perform well. Eventually, it all boils down to a company's ability to service a bigger equity. If a company can comfortably service a bigger equity, then there is a merit in issuing bonus shares. On the other hand, if a company is going to struggle to service the equity after the equity expands, it will destroy shareholder value. So in that sense, a bonus share issue cuts both ways. It could go either way. And as an investor, you need to evaluate which way it will go after the shares are issued. That is something you can do only if you closely watch the fundamentals of the company, where the company is going in terms of growth, margins and profit growth, and how the company is equipped to overcome adversity when it faces it. That, in essence, settles the debate on bonus shares. Thank you for watching this video.